Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm very happy that you guys can join me today in another house building video and today I am building in Windenburg. This is on a 30 by 40 size lot and I'm building this really nice traditional home. I just really felt like doing something traditional because I'm trying to get into that cats and dogs kind of vibe. Um, so I have watched a few um, overviews of the new world that we are getting with the cats and dogs expansion pack, which is coming out within two days. So very excited about that. And I think the world is called Brindenton Bay. I'm probably saying that all wrong, but it has this really kind of traditional vibe um, more like Dutch colonial and I'm just really excited to build there and I'm just trying to get in the vibe with this build and I thought let's do something traditional and practice a little bit with uh, the floor plan and uh, placing of I don't know of everything <laughs> um, so I actually really really like the shape of the house I love the floor plan um, there is I mean it's not a really spacious home because we do have a fair piece of land that we use for the garden but the interior is kind of spacious I am saying kind of so there is of course a living room but there's also a formal living room so there are two living rooms there is a, a formal dining room area and there's also a dining room in the kitchen or not really a dining room just a dining table in the kitchen um, there are three bedrooms uh, two bathrooms um, so actually everything that your sim needs to uh, to feel good in their own home so yes that's actually um uh, <laughs> all I needed to say about what's inside the house of course you guys will see that in this house building video I do finish the house in one go and it actually came really really easy this is one of the fastest traditional family homes that I've done in a long time I mean as you guys see this video is like only 20 minutes long usually when I do a house build uh, in one go and not breaking it up it's usually like 30 minutes long so this one was actually really fast so for the landscaping i do uh tone down the landscaping quite a lot at the front yard i also think that i'm winning lots of time here as well i just didn't want anything like very manicured or uh, all fenced in i just wanted a loosely landscaped front yard and that is what i'm gonna do so um, no fencing or hedging or whatsoever at the front but at the back I do use some fencing as planters and you know the usual um, how do you say that <laughs> the, us the usual landscaping that I always do but this at the front I, I, I keep it more simple but I like it um, so yeah that is basically all I needed to say for this little section of the build um, so for the packs that I'm using in this house build I do have the house open at this point so I'm gonna grab that with me and I'm gonna tell you guys which uh, packs I'm using so I'm using city living get together get to work and what is that back there parenthood I'm also using the vampire game pack uh, items so the fencing is from the, uh, the vampire game pack and also the brick that I'm using for the exterior is from the vampire pack um, I'm using some dine out items like uh, plants and candles I'm also using one or two items from the toddler stuff pack uh, vintage glamour um, backyard stuff kids room Romantic garden, um, what's this? Movie hangout and perfect patio. And I'm also using one rock from the holiday celebration pack. So it's quite a few packs that I'm using. <laughs> I am aware of that, but I just really felt like using these items for 
this build. Um, so yeah, I, I'm hoping that you guys like it. So of course we needed a swimming pool and I thought let's make it look a little bit romantic. Let's add in some rose petals into the uh, swimming pool area. I mean, usually I go for that really bright, beautiful blue color, but this time I was like, no, let's do something different. And then here starting landscaping this side. So I'm using a topiary, um, some uh, woohoo bushes, which are not functional, by the way. If you infence um, the woohoo bushes uh, and then place bushes around that bush, uh, you cannot woohoo in it. <laughs> Just a heads up, if you want to use it, you need to free them from the fence uh, before you can use it. Um, so also making a little play area. I'm keeping the play area again really simple. Simple landscaping was the overall uh, team for this home so we're keeping it simple and i think for this home less is more usually i'm like more is more for my landscaping but this time i thought less is more and i really like it um so yeah, that's basically all I needed to say right now. So how are you guys doing, by the way? It's been a week since I've uh, talked to you guys. Um, so personally, for me, this week has been a, a, a fairly positive week. Well, fairly in the last half of the week was positive. The first half, not so much. So... Um, yeah, what did I do this week? So I went to my mother last week and I visited my uh, grandmother's grave. Um, first time I visited it uh, since her death, by the way. I, I have been over there to her home and uh, helped out with clearing all the stuff because she lived in a rental and we needed to move out all her stuff and uh, just fixed some, you know, some walls and stuff like that before um, the end of the month because uh, then if it wasn't fixed we needed to pay another month of rent which of course we didn't have so that is what I have been doing and uh, I didn't really have time to um, to visit her grave but I did do that uh, last weekend which was I don't know it felt right going there i mean um i know she was waiting i mean my grandmother was really big on visiting uh graves um you know of deceased family members uh her son died eight years ago my uncle and she visited him every sunday every sunday she would go to his grave and she would put fresh flowers she would clean everything up you know and make it look nice that was her thing she did it every sunday she did not skip one week so yeah i knew she she would love that we would visit her grave as well so that is what i did last weekend um and i actually feel felt very good after that so yeah i can say the week has been almost great <laughs> almost um anyways here i'm starting with the interior of the home i did the floor plan off camera um like i do like 90 percent of the time because me and floor plans they don't work together um usually for a floor plan i fiddle around for like 30 minutes sometimes 40 it all depends on how large the home is um for this house it took me like 20 minutes to figure out where I wanted everything to go. So I did not record that. Um, anyways, what am I doing here? I'm making a living room right here. I'm going with the beautiful parenthood sofas. Those are still my favorite traditional looking sofas. But I did see in uh, one video on YouTube. I think it's from the... Was it the Dutch Sims 4 Master? I'm not sure. Or it was Delhi. <laughs> Either way, I saw in one of the videos um, the items that we are getting with the, um, with the new expansion pack. With the Cats and Dogs expansion pack. And there are really, really nice sofas in there. Um, some really 
just cute little rugs and items and I just cannot wait to get my hands on that expansion pack and just start building my heart out. So I do have some floor plans ready to go. I have been searching this entire week uh, for like nice Dutch colonial homes that I want to use to fill up my entire Brindenton Bay, <laughs> if I'm saying that correctly. So yeah, that is definitely something that I'm looking forward to uh, when the new pack comes out. I also want to um, work in the pet clinic career or is it is it called pet, pet, pet clinic career? I'm not sure. Anyways, there is like a new career um, of sorts, I think. I, I'm not sure. I mean... I mean, this happens to me all the time. I, I I watch something and I forget what I have watched. <laughs> I know it's so weird, but I think there's like a pet clinic career and I really want to do that. I want to do like a let's play. I mean, I'm saying that right now, but who knows, but I definitely want to play with that. And of course I want to make my five cats in create a sim <laughs> really looking forward to that i have been taking lots and lots of pictures of them um so that i can really make them in detail um and maybe i'm gonna make like uh, my former dogs as well i have owned a lot of dogs in my life so i have owned uh like one little black dog that i don't know what it was <laughs> it was small um lots of curly hair i think it's called a case hondje in dutch uh, but it wasn't like a real case hond it was like a mix between a case and maybe a pomeran pom pomerian or something like that it was a le really cute little dog i had that dog for 18 years um i also had a bouffier don't know the english word for that and that was a black one and i had a white one um ayala and ebony i loved them so much uh, we also had a uh, rottweiler <laughs> again don't know the english word for that uh her name was jesse but we I think she was like four years old when we needed to um, get rid of her because my niece, um, so the, the oldest daughter of my sister, um, she was born and they were still living in our home and Jessie just couldn't manage uh, children. She just really got very anxious and a little bit aggressive and it was just best for her to get a home without children so she went to a farm uh, which I think she, no I think she is deceased uh, since last year if I have that correct. Yeah, I think she's not living anymore. But yeah, I really thought that that, that was like actually a really beautiful uh, dog, uh, the Rottweiler. Um, but I do have to say my preference goes to more smaller dogs uh, lately. Like I really, really wanted a Chihuahua. <laughs> like I wanted one so bad, but my husband have said no every single time so he just finds that chihuahuas look like little rats i disagree like i think they look very lovely i think they're so cute um but now we are looking for a uh not a pomegranate dog but a pomerian I'm hoping that I'm saying that correctly. Um, it has like lots of fluffy hair and it looks like just a little ball of fur, really. <laughs> so I'm looking into that um, and my husband said that I can't get that dog if uh, he can get a three meter, meter long uh, aquarium. So I don't know if you guys know how I feel about that. I have said it like a few times in other videos. I'm not nuts about large aquariums. I mean, a small one, I think, looks really nice in a home. But a three meter long aquarium, where am, where am I gonna put that? I mean, let's be real. I have a really, really tiny home. And we just got rid of a two meter long one because I just found that one too large. And now he wants one even larger. <laughs> so yeah, we still need to battle that out uh, <laughs> before I can get my dog, sadly. But for now, I have my five cats, uh, which I also adore. So 
yeah that's that's basically it what am i doing here i haven't talked about this build uh at all so um, as you guys can see there are three bedrooms I am using lots and lots of items from the parenthood game pack I just adore those items so much they are I think one of the best traditional items that we have in the game so that bed that I'm using is a base game bed by the way that's a free one uh, or a new one that we got in a free update um, and I think this is the first time that I ever used that one I think it looks really nice I love the entire gray kind of color scheme that we are going for for the master bedroom I think it looks really nice and very classy so very happy with that and for the other other two bedrooms that I'm making I'm going for uh, a, a toddler bedroom a twin girl toddler bedroom overly pink of course I mean it's been a while since I've done a pink one so I needed to do one uh, today and then there will also be a kids boys bedroom I mean you can use it for a teen boy as well it's all what you prefer to play with um, I'm gonna pl place a kid uh, a boy a kid boy <laughs> a boy kid oh my gosh mona <laughs> talking is so hard i'm so out of practice and then this rock right here we've gotten that with the celebration uh, holiday update i don't know is that a rock from some kind of christmas christmasy celebration thingy i'm not sure what it is but i just really like the colors and i think it looks really nice in this bedroom but i just don't know what that rock really stands for in terms of a holiday pack i mean i think those those were like holiday items that we've gotten for free um last time i check i don't know but i like the rock it's it complements all the colors in the bedroom so i thought let's use it here and i just really like this i mean if i i can choose one of the bedrooms that i like the most it's definitely the boys bedroom i just love the um orange color with the with the black and then a little hints of blue and green it's just really nice so here starting with the toddler bedroom and that is actually the final bedroom that we are furnishing for this house so i went with another twin toddler bedroom because I don't know I just love having twins uh, especially toddlers <laughs> those are so adorable I love the toddler interactions uh, that they do together you know they hug each other and stuff like that I mean that just makes me so happy to watch um, and of course very pink uh, definitely Sadie approved Sadie is my youngest daughter she's five years old and she really liked it so the only thing that she did not like uh, from this bedroom was that rug with the uh, not bumblebees those are like uh, Liefe Heers beiges <laughs> And I don't know the English name as well. But yeah, she didn't like that one. Uh, she wanted something pink. But I told her that we needed something to break the room a bit. And I went with that rock. And not with the very, very pink one that she had in mind. So this is the uh, final bathroom that we need to furnish. And I think I'm also making like a little seating area um, in that... Uh, hallway that landing right there and then we are finished with the video so i'm hoping that you guys actually enjoyed this very uh fast i mean for me this is a fast speed build um because this is only 20 minutes long yay me but i hope that you guys still enjoyed it if you did don't forget to leave your likes comments feedback everything you can leave it all in the description not in the description mona in the comment section of the video um and yeah if this is the first vi uh, video that you are seeing from me and my babbling did not scare you off <laughs> please subscribe so that you would never ever miss a video of mine and i'm hoping that i will see you all in the next one and have a awesome awesome day bye bye